Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we are going over Scrapper and both of her engravings of Shock and Ultimate Taijutsu. We're going to go first over the Shock training. Shock training is mainly your spec play style so she's going to be a little feel slower that way because she's spec and she doesn't go into the swiftness at all on that so you're going to have a crit spec neck and then spec on everything else and that's including onto your pet just to maximize as much spec as you can because spec is going to increase how much shock you're going to get back and how much damage your shock skills are going to do so with that in mind we're going to run three normal stamina skills and then four or, and then five of the shock skills so for this first one crushing smite you're going to run it at level seven you can have it as a bleed or a rage rune depending on what you want you can flex between the two however you want but for the tripods you're going to go damage amplification and max out the tripod on focus just to get as much shock back as possible that's going to help you out the most there charging blow is going to be your next one same thing just interchange between rage and bleed that will help you out the most and this is one that you can kind of flex between depending on your playstyle and what you're lacking if you're needing more of the shock brought in then run focus if you're having a hard time getting in and out of combat and dodging things, use Charging Blow as a escape mechanism, as a mobility, and just dash. Use it as the mobility, that helps you out. Destroyer and Death Brand, you're going to just max those out. Or not the Destroyer, but at least Death Brand, you can max out. Doesn't really matter. Roundhouse Sweep, you're going to have with the Quick Recharge, the highest one you have possible, because we just we're going to get a higher one from Epic. We're going to get the Legendary here soon. Swift Preparation. This is, you're going to want this for your, because uh, Roundhouse Sweep is your counter. And Swift Preparation, what it does is every time that you use it, as long as you hit it, you have, starting off at level 1, a 30% chance clear up to a 54% chance of having it reset. So this is, if you have all your other skills on cooldown, it can be used for a DPS and it's really useful for the counters, especially when you're needing it for like Vaulton on the ghost phase and not very many people and this keeps resetting. You got your counter keep coming back every time, which is super nice. Madman max it out as well, a lot more damage. And reinforce as well for the more damage. But again, quick recharge just so that you have a chance to get a 12% reduction on your skill cooldown on all of them just by using the skill. Potential Rising Fist, max it out. Overwhelm Room it, the highest one that you possibly can put on it. It's going to be your best bet. Refined Skill, max the tripod out. Objective Hit, max it out. And Dragon Fury, max it out as well. It's going to be your best bet. Fire Tiger Strike. Damage Amplification again. So you can kind of swap between these two. Alternating which one you want. And max out the focus. As you can tell, these two you do not have to. Your Synergy Skills ones, you don't have to max out. You can just get to level 7. And you can dump the remaining points into whatever you kind of feel like necessary. As long as all your Shock Skills are maxed out. That's the main thing you want. Quick recharge on this again. Or you can even swap it between the bleed and the rage. With, so your stamina skills, you can swap those three runes around however you feel. Do as you please. It's honestly up to you on that. Chain Destruction Fist. This is one of your biggest... One of your big hitters. You're going to have the highest level Galen that you have just so you can cast it as fast as possible because it is one that you're in position for a while so the faster you can get the damage in and out the better you are endless rage you're gonna max it out tenacity because you do not want to be knocked out of it 
so it can help get you out of sticky situations. If you're going to get pushed, just activate it and you won't get pushed out. And shaking ground for more damage. That is your best thing. Death rattle, quick prep on it, single hit, and shock explosion, max them all out. And as well, the next highest level of gill one you have, just so that you can pop it out. This one is your hardest hitting ability for shock. Just because, but it takes us a second to wind up, so, and you need to make sure that you have a high amount of shock when you go to use it. We'll explain when we go through a little bit of rotations. Supernova, another hard hitter, quick prep, piercing strike, and spineless hit. Those are your things, as well as another Gale one, max them all out. That is your 18 tripods that you need, and that will help you out the most. For gems, right now mine is this in the level 5 setup, but Death Rattle get both cooldown and damage. Same with Supernova, Potential Rising Fist, and Chain of Destruction. And then Roundhouse Sweep, you just want damage, and then just get cooldowns for the for your kind of choice. Charging blows mine just so I can have it up more often. And then the Fire Tiger Strike just for that as well. You can swip, swap it to the Crushing Smite if you want as well. Those are your options for that. For engravings, for at least a 4x3, once we get started into Tier 3, getting into your Argos, Shock Training, Grudge, Ambush Master, and Adrenaline. Just so you can get your crit up as high as possible. You're also going to want to run the preordained set just to get the crit up, and that's going to be your best bet. Once we start getting your relic sets and your relic engravings, your fifth one, if you get enough, you're going to crit rate up to the 60%, then you're going to run Keen Blunt Weapon because that's going to be your biggest help. So make sure you do that your relic armors and pieces and all that stuff that you get is going to be the entropy because we're a back attacker it's going to help you out the most so with all that in mind the your crit that you'll end up getting just from everything from this class from having just a 500 the entropy set and being a back attacker is currently only a 48% chance. So the higher stuff that you can get, the better. Once we get to the level 2, you'll be at 51%. Actually, I correct myself, you'll be at 63%. So I forgot to add adrenaline into the mix. So adrenaline, max stacks, everything like that, you'll be at 63. So you will be able to hit adrenaline's cut off for the 60% very easily. So there will be no problem. Get to the level 2 sets. You'll be at 66, so you'll be more comfortable. And depending on what bracelet you end up getting and rolling with, you can even get higher. So Keen Blunt is going to be your best bet for damaging engravings. So, with the cards, if you have Light of Salvation up to 18 to get the Holy Damage bonus, that's going to be your best bet. Uh... Deep Dive is another good one that you can run nowadays if you don't have that and are getting really lucky with these ones because it just adds more damage. It doesn't matter if it's holy or not, so that's super helpful. Or the other option is uh, Lost Wind Cliff for extra crit. Where did mine go? So Lost Wind Cliff is your other option. Let's just do it that way. So, I don't know where mine went. There it is. So, that gives you an extra 7% chance. So, you can get up to 70% chance crit very easily. So, no need to worry about that. So, just for that. So, currently, I don't have the entropy set. I only have the preordained. So, that is going to be your best bet at level 2. But you ideally proc your skills accordingly. Let's get everything to reset. But yeah, like I said, your pet is going to be on spec to 
get more damage that way. So go into this, start pounding out, get your adrenaline stacks up, and you ideally, granted I'm not critting as much, but this is just go with whatever you got available and just use your synergy skills when they come up just so that you can maximize your damage output on that. So now let me swap out uh, Trixie in for just two seconds here and we'll go over the other one, the ultimate Taijutsu. I do have it already set up with the skills so we don't have to worry about that. It'll just be going over everything else and let's get this reset up and there we go. So for skills, Iron Cannon Blow, highest ability damage, Fairy Strike, max it out, Rush, Ruthless Advance, max it out. And Death Brand as well. Actually, nope. Let's get the correct skills because I've been on the wrong one. So, Iron Cannon Blow. Overflowing Power, max it out. Quick Prep, max it out. Advanced Enhancement, max it out for just more damage. Gale Wind, don't need it on the highest one because you're going to have it on another one, but still get it up as high as possible. Charging Blow, Furious Strike because you're not needing the focus and you're on swift on this one so mainly this one and now i got that so instead you're going to be running a swift crit build so you're going to be moving around a whole lot more a lot easier to move so you don't have to worry about that so you don't need the excellent mobility and you don't need the shock gain because you're running with the swiftness and you're mainly dealing with stamina abilities to do damage ruthless advance and death brand those are going to be your best things for charging blow rage rune works very well for this so that helps you out there instant hit is going to be your counter for this one instead of the other one you can change to having roundhouse sweep but instant hit works just as well and you're going to have the quick recharge, white hit, counter effects, and tracking instant. So this kind of helps you out with that. Dragon invert, max it out. You can put a protection rune on it. Kind of pick and choose what you want. Moment of truth, max it out. Regulation attack, if you get that, max it out. And great destruction, max it out. Crushing Smite, you only need to get this to level 4 just to get the damage application and put a Bleed Rune on that. Helps you out. Earthquake Chain, one, you can put your low end Gale Wind on it just to get it out quick. Undying Power, Power Strike, and Powerful Earthquake just to do that. Death Rattle is on here as well, so that makes it nice just to get more of your stamina gauge back and to expand your shock. That's mainly why it's here. Same exact ones here and same room across the board. Very easy for that. Battering Fist is this is where you're going to put your highest level of gale one that you have. Capture Opportunity, Max It Out, Red Explosion, and Berserk. Those are your things you're going to be doing for that. That's your best bet for the gems and stuff. Let's just go comparison, level five. So we won't need those. Change of destructions are gone. Death rattle though. I got rid of the wrong one. Okay. Well, earthquake chain. We're gonna have that on cooldown. Same with the dragon. Uh, sweep to get taken off. That's going to get taken off and if you place it that. So there's death rattle. 
We need instant hit, shouldn't be too bad. There's that. Annihilation. Battering fist, get that. That's the other one. So crushing smite will have that. Where I am missing some skills. Where'd you go? Earthquake chain. There's that. Back down to the crimson level five. Where's my iron cannon blow? There it is. So that's mainly all your DPS goes. Cooldown and damage, cooldown damage on all those big guys. And then same thing, instead of shock though, we're going to ultimate taijutsu. Adrenaline max out, ambush master, grudge maxed out. You're gonna have enough for that as well. That's gonna work out very well. So as an option, you're not gonna be able to max out the swiftness even with entropy or with the support. You're gonna be around eight percent. Well, let's get correct. You're around 16% extra damage running Raid Captain, so ideally if you get into the 5x3 plus 2, you can run Adrenaline at level 2, and then run Raid Captain level 3 for extra damage, because by that point, you know, you're, we're going to be close to getting to level 3 sets and everything, so you're going to be at 17, so that can be your option for another engraving. Same card sets, all that fun jazz, so. And back to that, save that. And just to show you, hit this. And just kind of go through. And just pop your skills. It's gonna be super easy for you to keep your adrenaline stacks going, just because you know, speeding a swift. We don't have to worry about mana. We just have to worry about your identity gauge. So it's really nice to play. So that's about it. So hopefully this was helpful, at least getting your scrapper up and running. If it was, comment down below. And if you have any further questions or any class that you would like to see next, comment down below and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.